Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of the Forza Horizon 3 information show. So in today's video guys we're going to be breaking down the March Forzathon events for you guys so you know exactly what you can win throughout the month of March. Now obviously when I'm making this video uh, the first one has already been done uh, however uh, it is finishing today so if you do catch this video in time you can go and complete the first one uh, which uh, is to get the Mercedes A45 AMG Horizon Edition and much more. So let's go straight into today's video, guys. Now, the Extreme Speed Forzathon begins on Friday, March 3rd, and lasts throughout the weekend until Monday, March 6th, obviously, which is today as I'm making this video, which you will be able to win a Horizon Edition variant of the Mercedes A45 AMG and more. Be Extraordinary is up the following weekend from Friday 10th of March through to Monday, March 13th, and features the Benty Continental Super Sports. On Tuesday, March 14th, is a special one-day Forzathon titled Mind on My Money. The cover photo for this one features a Rolls-Royce and the Ford F-150 Raptor Horizon Edition will be up for grabs. Then it's all about the Irish for the weekend of St. Patrick's Day from Friday, March 17th through to Monday, March 20th in the A Shamrock in Good Time Forzathon events. Here you'll be able to take home the classic 1972 Mercedes 300 SEL 6.3 and more. The Spring Festival between Friday, March 24th and the Monday, March 27th is an interesting one offering a Horizon Edition variant of the Nissan Silvia S15. The S15 customised with a rocket bunny kit was one of the three starter cars in Forza Horizon 3 and from preview events to the demo and full release it was always was chosen. From Friday March 31st through to Monday April 2nd you'll be able to take home the Lamborghini Sesto Elemento. It's worth noting that the cover photo for this event features a Morgan three-wheeler and is titled Fooling Around so don't expect these challenges to be anything but normal. Now, for uh, the cars, guys, uh, that you can get throughout these uh, Forza Fun events is the 1972 Mercedes 300 SEL 6.3 and the 2011 Lamborghini Sesto Elemento. Uh, now, the Mercedes-Benz uh, was a large luxury car uh, built by the German manufacturer from 1968 to 1972. Uh, it does also feature the auto uh, automaker's powerful 6.3-litre M100 V8 from the luxurious 600 limousine installed in the normally six-cylinder powered Mercedes-Benz 300 SEL. The result was nearly a two-ton saloon, with performance like most dedicated sports cars and American muscle cars of the era. At the time of its release, it was also the world's fastest four-door car, uh, and one that was driven by many heads of state. It could easily be mistaken for the 1963 Mercedes-Benz W100 600 Grosser, due to how similar it looks. But regardless, this fan favourite from Forza 4 is one of the many is one of many fans are very sure to be excited about. It also has a ridiculously loud horn so it will be interesting to see how that plays out in Forza Horizon 3. Now for the one nearly everyone wants, the 2011 Lamborghini Sesto Elemento, which means the sixth element in English, is a two-door, two-seater, V10, high-performance, lightweight, limited edition car produced by Lamborghini, which debuted at the 2010 Paris Motor Show. The Sesto Elemento's name is a reference to the atomic number of carbon in recognition of the car's extensive use of carbon fibre. Only 20 models were ever produced. The Sesto Elemento is equipped with a 6-speed semi-automatic transmission with paddle shift and all-wheel system mated to a 5.2-litre V10 engine borrowed from the Gallardo, generating 7, uh, 570 horsepower. The chassis, body, drive shaft and suspension components are made of carbon fibre, reducing the overall weight to a mere 999 kilograms. Being one of my favourite cars from Forza 4 and Horizon, it's finally good to see it back in the franchise. It's just going to be painful waiting more than an entire month before we can drive it. However, when we see those pesky driver cars using it against us in races and enjoying it in the open world, we'll get a bit jealous. Between the fearsome Esto, uh, Sesto Elemento and the classic Mercedes uh, and the Horizon Edition variant of the Nissan F S15, March is promising to be one of the best Forza fan ones yet for Forza fans. We didn't think it would top uh, the 2010 Ferrari F99XX and the Lola T70 from February, but it definitely has. Let me know, guys, down in the comments below which of the Forza Farm vehicles you are most looking forward to collecting in March, and will you be chasing after them at all? Let me know down there in the comment section below, and also what cars you would like to see appear in the next DLC. But anyway, guys, I think that is it for today's video. I did hope you enjoy it. If you did, please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you over in my next video, guys. 
Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye-bye.